Hello everyone, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hector channel. And today I'll be doing a food review from the Colonel at KFC, which stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. But they have a new type of fried chicken. Instead of KFC, they have a BFC Beyond Fried Chicken. Notice it comes in a green box, unlike their popcorn nuggets that come in a red box, which says Chicken Treasures. And, uh, I don't go, that's not really what they're called on the menu. It's called Chicken, Popcorn Chicken Nuggets, so, don't know why it says that on there. But these are made from plants. You may have seen before, I actually did a Beyond Chicken review, um, and this was when Impossible came out with their Impossible Nuggets, and I went to a place that had all three. They had Chicken Tenders, they had Beyond Chicken Tenders, and then they had the Impossible Chicken Nuggets. And those Impossible Nuggets were very good, I must say. But these are Beyond Fried Chicken. These are Nuggets. These are not Tenders. You can see they are essentially squares. They all look like they're the same shape square. Um, so shape-wise they are different. They're not tenders, they're nuggets. But they're also from KFC, which my question then is, are these just the same type of Beyond Chicken from the Beyond brand sold to KFC? And then KFC just cooks at the location and sells it like that? Or is there something uniquely KFC about this? Have they added their 11 herbs and spices? Have they done something different than just their regular Beyond Tenders that they sell to other places that anyone can sell? Well, I'm going to compare it to the popcorn nuggets that KFC also has, which definitely is their own product they've added their 11 herbs and spices. So I'm going to compare and contrast the real popcorn nugget to the Beyond Nugget. Color-wise, they're pretty much the same color. And if you look at it seasoning-wise, they both have roughly the same color and amount of specks of spice. Let's smell them too. Smells like a KFC chicken. They smell pretty much the same. So, so far, so good. Um, let's taste the popcorn chicken nugget from KFC. Although there is plenty of breading on that, you can see some real chicken. It's moist and delicious. I think I have my receipt here somewhere. I think I left it in the car. Anyway, this was a one, two, three, four, five, six piece of this. And they cost seven dollars, six ninety nine. So not cheap nuggets. But the real popcorn nuggets were around the same price. So it's almost the same price, but these are nuggets, not real chicken. Now I have the chicken flavor and the eleven of and spices flavor in my mouth. So I'm gonna really focus on that right now. Remember it. And I'm gonna clear. Clear the palate. And see if the Beyond Nuggets have that same KFC-ness to them.
this is a weird visualization when you bite into it. It just looks like a brick. Like if I were to remove the breading from like half of this, you can see that it's just like a square chunk. The breading is pretty much spot on. That breading. There's like some chickeny juice flavor in the breading here. But after tasting that, I will say I do think that the Beyond Fried Chicken at KFC, in my opinion, this hasn't been confirmed by anyone that I've heard or read. This is definitely a product that they've collaborated with it, at least. Beyond Chicken has only really given them the, the meat part, and they KFC either has done this or they work together for the breading because it does have that KFC 11 herbs and spices flavor on the outside. Another weird thing is that this looks so much better than the Beyond Tender that I had. Like, the Beyond Tender looked spongy. This almost looks like it's got fibers, like muscle fiber, to it. You know, like carrot. Almost like a string cheese kind of thing where it's on perforations. That really makes it look like chicken. It also has a a denser texture to it than the Beyond Tenders that I had before. These are actually not bad. Taste more. Popcorn nugget. Meat spices. You get that good chicken flavor. Beyond nugget. What's weird is like this actually has more meat and less breading than any of these nuggets do. Well, that one actually looks pretty good. It's a big chunk. The other ones I've been into had a lot of inner breading. Real chicken, beyond nugget chicken. I don't hate this. I don't know if they upgraded their chicken when they went from the Beyond Tender to the Beyond Nugget, or something that they've done in collaboration with KFC specifically has improved this. Now, I'm not going to say they're not, they're indistinguishable from each other because the regular chicken is better. And I think it's a chicken fat juiciness that comes out of it and blends with all the spices. But I will say this, these Beyond Nuggets, I really want to go and have these head to head with the Impossible Nuggets because these are really good. I'm going to try some with uh, the KFC sauce, which I don't know if you can see what he's saying in there. It says, it's chippin' dickin', it's chicken dippin' good. That's the only thing I said there. They used to say finger licking good. But I think, like, for some reason, when COVID hit, they didn't want people licking their fingers. Try to go with popcorn chicken. I 
It's not as good as their finger mitten sauce. Not the Beyond Nugget. It's a little bit too big for the cup. Tastes good, but sauce too. So, beyond fried chicken at KFC, the BFC. I will agree with this statement. It's still finger licking good. I saw one review of this where the person didn't care for it, and I was fully expecting to agree with them because I've had the Beyond tenders before. But I really like this. <coughs> if anything, I think the chicken might be a little bit too dense, which is weird because the last one was too spongy. But I'd actually err on this side of the too dense because it's just a little bit of more chew than you would suspect for um, a nugget. But it's not like that rubbery, spongy kind of texture that I got from the Beyond Tender. And the KFC Herbs and Spices really kicks up the flavor, makes it really enjoyable. This is going to get the Fat Hipster recommendation. Beyond Fried Chicken, definitely go out and try it. Um, I don't think they are vegan or vegetarian necessarily. I think they're still cooked in the same oil that the other chicken is cooked in. Um, like most Beyond and Impossible things, these aren't marketed towards the vegetarian, vegan population necessarily. It's just marketed towards people who want to eat less meat, who want to have less of an impact on the cattle and chicken industries. And just equal, equal out some things so we don't have you know, those animal factories that created the uh, climate and other issues that they do and with the improvements that they keep going with beyond and impossible I gotta say two thumbs up to those companies keep doing what you're doing um, keep marketing towards the people you're marketing towards uh, stop li don't listen to the vegan vegetarian complainers out there who are complaining about being cooked in the same grill or in the same oils Keep marketing towards the people you're marketing towards because this is really good. I think anyone who enjoys fried chicken or chicken nuggets will taste this and say, yeah, it's at least acceptable. If not, you will like it a lot. Um, but anyway, that's it for this uh, review. Um, before I say goodbye, I'll say one thing about KFC and this channel specifically KFC is doing a regional sauce in the DC area um, where they're using this sauce called Mambo sauce which is popular in DC and I think they're putting on sandwiches and nuggets um, <clears throat> but it's a regional uh, sauce there it's kind of like a sweet and spicy barbecue-ish type flavor um, and the reason I bring that up is because in the region I'm in Chicago we have a sauce that we uh, call mild sauce and a lot of people think that mild sauce and mambo sauce have like a common ancestor or were created by different people or one came out of the other but uh, I really think KFC should think look into that here in Chicago as well and in order to further along that uh, opinion of mine, very soon, definitely this year, I'm going to be doing a review of Chicago Mild Sauces. And what chicken am I going to be using to do that review? I'm going to be doing some KFC. Probably the style nuggets.
um, just to see one, which mild sauce in Chicago, in my opinion, is the best, and two, which mild sauce should KFC do a regional uh, sandwich sauce with, like they're doing in DC with the mambo sauce, but here in Chicago with the mild sauce. And hopefully um, that will be a good informational video for for KFC and uh, someone there will see it and we'll do the same thing here in Chicago. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Have you tried my old sauce or Bombo sauce? Have you tried the Beyond Fried Chicken? Um, what do you think about any of those things that you've tried? Is there something you want me to review next? All of those questions and more coming soon with Fat Hipster Channel. And that's it for this video. See you next time. So long.